how to use Clideo online video editor. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this online video editor to create our own videos. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So in order to get started we need to visit Clideo.com and then as you can see we have like only one button here get started so all we need is just to click on right up here so we'll come to this page this is our online like editor page editing page so from here we can start creating everything we are going to do in the left side as you can see we have option to upload see our plots use canvas and use text so the first step we need to do is just to add our media here so audio video and so on we need to click on upload and after that we have the ability to choose files from our computer or just upload them from google drive google photos or dropbox i'll just upload from my own computer so we can choose anything we want i'd like to use two of these videos it may take a little time to upload them because you know this is like online survive so it depends on your internet speed so now they are preparing we have to wait for a little before i wanted to tell that uh, it's like free online survive so of course have like paid versions but main features are available for free so our video is ready we can use it we can move it on our timeline so we can just simply drag and drop it here on our timeline after that our video was successfully like edit on our timeline and we can start edit it if we'll uh, click on it on our timeline and this like yellow border will appear it means that now we can edit this part of our video so this is our editing page what can we find here we can find uh, four different folders transform adjust volume and speed so in every folder we have the opportunity to work so we can uh, fill our window here we can fit it we can flip like a mirror flip horizontal and so on also we can rotate as you can see and uh, we can just change the like degrees scale it or some some other stuff in the adjust area uh, we can uh, change the opacity of our video we can change the brightness work with contrast saturation hue and so on so everyone all the settings depends on your uh, video so maybe these settings will be like different to yours at uh, your project so we can also change the blur sometimes it could be really helpful and we can work with all you we can change we can just delete it or just increase the power so this is how can we work with basically volume and there is also like uh, speed settings so we can change the speed if we'll increase it will be like uh, you know a time-lapse video but if we'll change it to one it will be like simple normal video so um, basically these are the main features we can do with our video we can also crop it and split so to change the duration we can move it from the corners as you can see just simply click and move to the necessary position we want to start or we can find it somewhere in the middle so just click and this like toolbar here is the opportunity to split so we can now split it into two different uh, videos in, the, in another part we can do the same and now we can simply delete the unnecessary part here so just simply click on delete and it was successfully deleted but we need to fit our video so as you can see we need to move it to the left side also in the right side of the uh, menu we have the opportunity to zoom out our timeline to zoom in or to fit to screen so sometimes it could be also really helpful and if you'll turn this function on snap is off uh, it means that these parts won't be connected basically so in order to add for example one more uh, thing we can simply drag and drop it and do the same the same things here 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 or we can move it like on the another line make it like the overlay we can resize it and just move somewhere we want to like for example here also we can work with opacity and after that 
you know, it will be like the overlay. So we can even do something like this. So as you can see, now it looks like the overlay. Sometimes it could be really, really uh, cool, you know. On the canvas, so uh, we can change the like resolution, like make it squared, vertical, horizontal, like for Instagram post or in other formats here. So uh, we can work with it. Also, we can change the color of the background here. So if you are creating maybe YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, this uh, like settings could be really helpful for you. But I'll change it back to back to horizontal. And we can also add some text here. As you can see, we have a lot of different text templates. We can use like simple text or just find the underlined italic, maybe like rounded black and so on. Let's add just a simple text. We can also change the duration by moving in into the color, into the necessary position. And if you'll click on it on our timeline or in the player area, we can change the uh, we can change the text basically. Let's write something like nature. So we can move it on our and change the position. We can change the color. We can change the font. Basically, all the settings are easy. And uh, we can make it bold. We can make it like increasing the size and so on. Also, we can adjust uh, the like letter spacing or line height height so on we can change the alignment so this is the way of how can we deal with text and also we can add the background but in this case i don't think that it's suitable as for us so let it be like this uh, and uh, basically when everything is done we can just simply click on export in the right top corner here and as you can see in the free version we have like two options to choose quality standard quality or standard quality hd so let's choose the highest one then just click on continue and the process began basically in a few seconds everything will be done and our video will be successfully exported to our computer but as you can see not all of the qualities are available some of them are some of them are available only for paid version so if we'll go back to for example Cl uh, clideo website we can find their pricings here uh, the most popular is like six dollars per month as you can see and like monthly is like nine dollars what's the difference i don't really know uh, but we can get unlimited storage time and create projects without watermarks so uh, this is a way of how can we deal with Clideo. Also, they have like options to which are described here so you can use it easily. So this is a way of how can we deal with Clideo. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.